Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode. So last episode, we started adding a few more of these different blocks into our quantum compressors here. And since then, off camera, I went ahead and I just added the rest of them. Everything that we can add, we're making singularities out of. So you can see, like, a good portion of these have stopped. And there's just some at the very end over there that are still going. Um, so yeah, you can see that we have quite a bit of these singularities already made. So I assume... We keep watching, we'll see this one stopped and this one, these should be filling up. Yeah, this one's almost done right here. So yeah, this is pretty cool. So that one just ended, then this one, and then yeah, it'll keep going down these rows as these fill up. But a thing that I have noticed is that this is costing quite a bit of EMC. So if we come over here to our transmutation table, I should grab a tablet and keep it on me. Uh, you can see our EMC is down kind of low. I mean, 4.4 trillion is a lot, right? Well, we had something like 9 trillion or something before I even started. So, like, two stacks of each of those singularities took us down by half of our EMC that we have stored. And every time we use more, it's just going to start draining our EMC. So, uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take an 8x compressed obsidian, which holds... What is that? Two billion? Was that thousand million billion? Yeah, two point seven billion EMC per block, and we are gonna animate this and start spawning it in, like we've been spawning in all of our other blocks. But the whole reason for this one is just so we can increase our EMC, right? I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, so probably what we're gonna want to do trying to think of like the best way to do this and i think if we were to get ourselves another one of these transmutation chambers here right and then we get another self or another one of these uh soulbound talismans this links this transmutation chamber to me so all of my emc that i know about yeah uh, as this transmutation chamber gets items it increases my emc or as we remove items that's why we have a million items of like everything that has EMC because we have a storage bus here. As we remove items, it removes our EMC. So yeah, I think another transmutation chamber with a soulbound talisman linked to me that's just directly inserting this 8x compressed obsidian that we will be spawning in down here through our uh, spawner. I think that's going to make a lot of sense. So like the very first one or the very bottom one, something like that, we can just always leave that 8x obsidian and then just leave it running all the time. Yeah. The only thing we got to do is just make sure we're going to have plenty of XP to keep up with this. And last I checked, we had like over a million levels of of XP. What do we got here? I'm sorry. Did I say a million? Over a thousand. Uh, we have 1,400 levels, which is going to convert into quite a bit of the uh, essence. So what is that? That is 176,469 buckets of liquid XP quite a bit um i don't know if there's a like a way that we can make an ocean out of liquid xp and uh use like a fluid pump to gain more of it so we can turn into this fluid or make an ocean directly out of the um what is it called the essence yeah we could look at a few different ways of doing that but anyway uh first things first let's go ahead and get this 8x compressed obsidian animated we'll put it into a mob imprisonment tool We'll make ourselves another transmutation chamber, another talisman, link it to ourselves, and start getting things going here. So, transmutation. No, that's a generator. That's that's not what I want. Go back in here. Hmm. Uh, did I never learn the transmutation chamber? I want this tablet. Um, let's see. Let me make sure I'm calling it by the right thing. I'm searching by the right name. Yeah, transmutation chamber, transmutation chamber. So yeah, it does have EMC and I guess we never learned it, but it seems like that is a fairly easy recipe for us to do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make one. So there's that. I put in here, transmutation chamber. Now we have a million of them. All right, so now we have that learned. If we need more, we can grab more. All right, so we have this. And then we also need, I can't remember, soul bound talisman, which we have a bunch of these. All right. So if I right click that, it is now bound to me. 
So this thing, when it gets items, should be able to add to our EMC pool. All right, so we have this 8x compressed obsidian. We need to animate that. So let's come up here. Hopefully this is animatable and I'm not just going to never be able to break this thing. The texture is kind of cool. Yeah, it's a bunch of different obsidian blocks in one block. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so we need to get ourselves a mob imprisonment tool like we do, and we need to get ourselves our wand of animation. If I can find it, there it is. All right, so let's get things organized here. So wand of animation, mob imprisonment tool. All right, so this is gonna be how we generate a bazillion EMC going forward, which is awesome. Then also we need our dark bow here, so I can anvil this thing and we know what this is. So this is 8x obsidian. Okay, so there we go, awesome. Put that away, uh, I guess, oh, you know what? I had a transmutation tablet on me. I didn't realize I had that. I guess I just never keep it on my player, so I didn't know about it. Anyway, uh, we're gonna need like a barrel, as we do. Now, I'm not gonna store like infinite of these in here. What's gonna happen? is we are going to set the filter so this barrel will only ever receive the 8x obsidian, right? We want to do that. And then we're going to extract out of the back of that thing using like translocators or something. It doesn't really have to be translocators, but we'll use these because I like them. So we'll extract out of the back of this barrel using these translocators into this transmutation chamber, right? So every time we get items, it'll go to this barrel, we'll extract out and directly into our EMC pool. I think that makes sense. Uh, let me go ahead, um, actually before I do that, I wanna shift right click and I wanna lock true, break it. All right, so now, now we come down here, start spawning these guys in. I don't remember if I had any other, I did black iron. We don't have anything else, I don't think. All right, so the very bottom one, I'm just gonna leave this 8x obsidian in here. All right, so we'll do that. We'll spawn in a few of them. All right, let's stop. So now we should have the blocks here, right? Very good. And then we can put them inside the barrel, put that there so we know about them, break the barrel. And then we'll add that up here. I'm not sure where, where to put it, where the best place is. How about we'll put it right here? All right, so like I said, we'll use item translocators on the back going into this transmutation chamber. Another one like a soul. Put this in here so this knows about everything. I'm not really sure what the upgrade thing is for, if we need that at all. Um, let's grab the tablet that we have. So currently, we're still draining a lot. Um, if I do this though, yeah, I guess it's kind of hard to tell if we're getting those. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. We'll start spawning them in and we'll see if we see these numbers increasing. Oh yeah. So it takes a minute for the uh, conduits, the item conduits to take the items in that chest and put it into the barrels. But yeah, check it out. We are now gaining quite a bit of EMC, so that's fantastic. And if we really wanted to, we can take some of those blocks that we're getting, animate those further, put in more mob imprisonment tools, spawn in twice, thrice, quadruple the amount. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things that we could do here to increase the amount of EMC that we're generating. But for right now, I think this is gonna do us well. Yeah, we'll just leave this going to increase our EMC over time. Uh, by a significant amount. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let me turn down. Let me turn down the sound here. That's a little loud. Okay, so I don't know why there's a quantum entangle, a porter here, or a torch. And this diamond chest plate we can remove and add over to this collection over here. Okay, so I think we are good to go as far as EMC is concerned. Well, here's something interesting. You can kind of see in the background here that the sky's jumping a little bit where it hasn't been doing that at all through our entire playthrough. Not until we just hooked up the EMC generation that we did. And you can see it's jumping. It's not a whole lot, but it is jumping. Now, what I noticed here is it's starting to jump whenever we are gaining EMC, which I thought was kind of weird. 
It took me a little bit to kind of figure out what actually was happening here, why this guy was jumping. I was thinking maybe it had to do with our applied energistic singularity thing that we just made recently, and maybe I hadn't noticed it till now. But yeah, it seems like every time we start gaining EMC, this guy jumps. Interesting. Um, so a thing that I saw, we can put a piece of glowstone on here so we're not inserting one 8x compressed obsidian at a time. It's taking whatever it gets in this barrel and dumping it all at once. Now when we do that and we look at our EMC as it gains, the sky is no longer jumping. So yeah, just a little simple quick fix there. Um, one reason to like do stacks at a time versus, oh, did we run out of... I didn't see this number go up. Yeah, so there, it just went up by like 200 million, or I guess 200 billion? Anyway, yeah, so that's one reason to uh, send stacks at a time instead of just doing singles at a time, because now this guy isn't jumping at all. Seeing all these 64 stacks of singularities and our applied energistics is definitely a nice sight, right? This is super, super awesome. However, that's not all of the 81 singularities that we need. There are quite a few more blocks and other things that are not EMCable or we don't have the parts to, uh, to EMC. So yeah, we have all of these land craft blocks that do not have EMC. So the Kelline, the Frisian, Racheline, Morganine, and Garfax, all of these blocks have no EMC. So in order for us to make a singularity of them, we need to actually obtain 9,001 of these blocks. I don't know if there is a way for us to like make a world with them. I haven't even looked. So Frisian, let's actually take a look over here at uh, our Dimlet workbench, if Frisian. So we can do Frisian ore or molten Frisian. Okay. so. It looks like we can generate a world that will have the liquid frisian, which we can, I guess, pump out all the fluid and then solidify, right? How does molten frisian even work? I haven't messed with this before. So you can cast it into an ingot. I assume you can cast it into a block. Yeah. Okay, so we can cast it into an ingot and we can cast it into a block. Man, that is gonna be annoying. Uh, the other thing is we can animate it and then we can spawn it in, which means we're gonna need a whole lot of essence in order to do this. Well, I mean, that might actually be faster since we can spawn in like, what, between one and, I don't know, 10 blocks at a time per spawner. So that might be what we do is we animate those blocks, yeah. I mean, we can make the RF tools dimension out of them, but I think animating them and spawning in mass quantities of them probably makes more sense. Okay, so another block here, we need Jade. So Jade is from the Urbis, and that comes from Jade Ore, right? And then that turns into a block of Jade, which does not have EMC, so that's something we're gonna have to animate. Uh, ironwood. Fiery metal, which is a really cool block texture. If you haven't seen this before, it's like a block inside a block and it's got some pretty interesting transparencies going on. I like the way that looks. Um, yeah, anyway, so ironwood, fiery metals, steel leaf, and uh, night metal, all from the Twilight Forest, do not have EMC. So we're gonna have to do something about those. I guess we're gonna animate and spawn in as well. Uh, meteoric iron from Galacticraft and Dash, both of those, again. Um, I think Meteoric Iron and Dash, we can, actually, we might be able to do this with the Twilight as well. I think Dash, at least, comes from Mystical Agriculture, so we could like set up crops and harvest those, make the ingots, convert into blocks, and get them that way. I'm not actually sure which way would be faster, as far as, I guess the Mystical Agriculture probably would be faster, It'd be easy to scale, especially with the imaginary time block. So that would be a thing that we can do. Um, Meteoric Iron? Does that, yeah, that also has mystical agriculture roots. Uh, night Metal? Yeah, okay. So maybe these things, aside from the Landcraft ones, because I don't think the Landcraft ones have any seeds. Yeah, there's none here, okay. So the Twilight Forest ones, we can go ahead and then do like a big mystical agriculture thing. 
That's awesome. Uh, we have manganese. This is another block that we are going to need, and we don't even have the ingots to make the block. So we take the manganese dust, turn it into the ingots, and then those we can compress into the block. Yeah, manganese does not have any seeds, so that would be another one that we're going to have to animate. This one here, pink slime, is actually not pink slime that we need. It is crystalline pink slime, right? Uh, pink slime and the crystalline pink slime do not have EMC. So again, another block, which most likely we're going to have to animate unless... Mm, dude, it takes 47 seconds to solidify that? What? Yeah, I Ender IO integration with Tinker's Construct is the name of the mod. Okay. Um, yeah, that's probably another one that we are going to uh, animate and then spawn in, I would imagine. Same thing with the Flux Electrum and the Mirion. Now, Marion, we got a whole bunch. We had to get a whole bunch of this earlier on for some reason. I can't remember why. But yeah, we cast out a whole bunch of ingots and a whole bunch of blocks. And I think I did that with the smeltery, if I remember correctly. Maybe we made an RF Tools dimension for that. It seems like an awful lot of Marion. Anyway, this is going to be yet another one that we need to animate. So we got lots of things to, to do here. Probably the first thing we should do is get all the blocks that need to be animated get those all set. I did go through on our ME interface and I did set the filters for these. So once our applied energistic system gets these blocks, yeah, they'll have a place to go um, as far as singularities go. So yeah, we'll have to get this all sorted. So that's the next project that we're going to start is animating all of these guys and getting them spawning in. So we have to click some more Jade here from the Urbis. And I saw there was one block right here, Jade Ore. I don't remember, how do we have this set up? We have this set up with Silk Touch right now. Um, I have to take care of these flies. They're gonna leave me alone. Bot fly, get out of here. Get out of here. Anybody else want some? Hmm. Okay, so yeah, let's go turn this to Fortune. Get rid of Silk Touch, off, Fortune, on. So now this guy has Fortune, three ready to go. We should be able to mine this magnet really fortune three only gets us one all right i'm disappointed all right we're gonna do it this way <laughs> we're just gonna vein mine away all these blocks and my thing auto eats which is awesome so there is five jade okay i don't remember how much we had back at the base i think it was over five so we should be able to make ourselves a block now let's head back and the singularity stuff is back over here and that one was this one? Yeah, okay, so now we got nine jade. So the use is for the jade uh, in the factorizer. Yeah, we can turn it into the block, so let's do that real quick. Yeah, it's fine. Go grab this guy. Like, I've done all these other ones that we needed a block out of, so we'll put that in here. And then jade. All right, and then we come back over here. We can get rid of this. Careful with this so I don't accidentally everything. <laughs> All right, and then just right click this 64 times and then we can add this to the collection of blocks that we need to animate. Manganese should be able to be doubled in the Zenith furnace here and we should, yeah, we should get, uh, was that 10 ingots from five of these dusts? Yeah, that looks like that's what happened here. So manganese. We'll leave that alone. I don't know if we need these dusts for anything, but there's no reason to convert them all into ingots right now. So then we'll take the manganese ingots and we will again do the same thing. Compact them into a block. Cool. So now we have this block and we should be able to have another block that we can add to our collection here. All right, guys. So after taking a look at all the different blocks that we have to turn into singularities, we have narrowed it down to nine different blocks here that we need to spawn in. So the Frisian, Rachel line, Morganine, uh, Keline, Garfax, Manganese, Crystalline Pink Slime, Fluxed Electrum, and Mirion. Those are the only ones that we cannot uh, make from Essence or EMC, right? So all of those need to be added to our collection here. So actually, let me uh, turn on the sound once again. Back to game. So we're just going to start adding these in. And then I need to add in uh, barrels for each one of them. Yep. 
So let me go ahead and do this and this. Two more. We so happen to have exactly 10 of these. So one of them for making the EMC. And then we have nine more for all of these blocks that we have to spawn in. Yep, very happy coincidence that that is the case. All right, so let's turn this off. Uh, again, I need to make these walls a little bit taller. It seemed like there is some here, and I think what's happening is they're just getting bumped as they're spawning in. There's just so many of them. So if I make these walls taller, that shouldn't happen anymore. So we'll look at that here as well. Uh, so all of those different blocks should be in here. My goodness, there's so much solidified experience and all sorts of stuff in here. I don't know if there's a better way for us to extract out of this chest, filtering off all the garbage from our maws and then going into these barrels. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. Well, yeah, I was going to say maybe we could set up like a separate killing area and all that stuff, but that's going to be a whole lot of work to do. It might be something that we will have to do, but it is going to be a whole lot of work. We'll worry about that later. So anyway, uh, we should have nine different blocks in here. Nine different unique blocks, I guess I should say. So there's that, the Garfax, Morganine, uh, Racheline, Christian, Crystalline Pink, Flux Electrum, and Manganese. What are we missing? We are definitely missing one because we had nine different ones, right? Hmm. So are one of these set up incorrectly or what's going on? I guess I need to go through here. And make sure we have every single one. So Frisian, Racheline. Well, I found the one they were missing. Yeah, we did spawn in Mirian blocks a while ago. So long ago, I completely forgot that we have done this. <laughs> so yeah, Mirian, we already have a barrel for it. So the one that we were missing went into here. And then our applied energistic system extracted that out and started turning that into singularity. So that's why we don't have any here. So I just need to get eight barrels set up for the rest of these blocks, add them all into our barrel collection here. I'll probably start filling up these weird empty spaces, get those all filled up, and then yeah, Applied Energistics should be able to do the rest. So this is pretty cool. We have all sorts of these animated blocks coming in here and all getting wrecked. And as we saw, we can't really keep up with, uh, yeah, with what's going on here. So I think what we're going to end up having to do, like, I mean, it seems like it's keeping up just fine, but you can see that solidified experience keeps like, uh, keeps adding up over here. Uh, and when we go away and we start getting other mobs spawning in there, right? Our normal hostile mobs, when those start spawning in there, yeah, then the, uh, amount of stuff that we are getting inside that chest is just too much to keep up with. And things are going to start backing up. So now if we take a look in there, yeah, you can see there's a whole lot of stuff. If I get away from this for like 30 seconds or more, we get a whole bunch of stuff backing up. So that's a problem that we need to solve and we need to solve that now. So let's go ahead and turn this off. Another problem, well, actually let's turn this back on. Another problem that we're going to have, you can see the essence. We're currently making um, essence right now out of liquid XP as fast as possible, right? And you can see the essence on our gargantuan drum here is just going down. So we, this is not sustainable. We can't convert XP fast enough into <laughs> essence, and we can't keep up with the amount of items that we are currently generating. Um, so let's go ahead and turn both of those off. So we have a couple of things that we need to solve here. Yeah, you can see like even with that turned off for a while, like it is still collecting items that are on our um, conveyor belts down there, the vector plates. Yeah, <laughs> this is just far too much stuff for the system to handle. So a thing that we could do, we could turn off the hostile mob farm. That would be a thing. Like, I'm not actually sure we need the hostile mobs anymore. I don't know if there's anything that they are currently making that we need. So we could get rid of like a whole big portion of the vector plates, light everything up, wall it off, make this a whole bunch smaller. In fact, we just put the walls like right around here, right? And then get rid of everything else, or at least just get rid of all the vector plates on the hostile mob spawning. So that is a thing that we could do. Um, what else could we do here? I, I'm thinking we could also like the uh, solidified experience for one. Um, I know there is a solidified experience, experience solidifier is the name of the block. 
And this is like pretty much infinite storage for the solidified experience. So what we could do is set like a blacklist filter on this item collector, right? Uh, I think it's already got a blacklist. It's blacklisting the loot bags. So we have loot bags coming over here. We could do the same thing and blacklist solidified experience and have another uh, advanced item collector just grabbing that. So that would take care of a good portion of the item. So that might be something that we do. In fact, we might as well just go ahead and do that. So this is an advanced coil. Apparently we don't have one of those. Easy enough to make. We don't have one of these either. So we'll learn that and we will learn that. All right. And then we'll make this guy and learn that. Not that we need to, but we can. So experience solidifier. And then we need to get ourselves an item collector. We need to get ourselves, what are these things called? Uh, item filter. Yep, we got those. All right, and then we need solidified experience. All right. So now that we have all of that, we can set this to a whitelist, and we are going to whitelist solidified experience. And then we can come over here to this one, and this should be on a blacklist. Yeah, and we're going to blacklist solidified experience here. All right, so that goes there. Let me verify I got the right one. Yep, that looks right. And then we can put this guy over here. It doesn't really matter where. Uh, I guess we'll just add it right like that. That guy, this guy, five by five by five. That should be pretty well good enough. And then all the solidified experience that we drop in the world should just end up right into here. Okay, so that will clean up this chest. So let's see how that works. Let's see if that does kind of what we need for right now i don't even know if this thing could keep up i assume it can oh yeah we're getting stacks at a time in there there is a baby skeleton right there why <laughs> what how did how did that even happen i'm not sure uh f7 is there a spot that BB skeleton can spawn around here i'm not even seeing a spot that's spawnable I have no idea where that baby skeleton even came from. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, so let's take a look in here. So yeah, the solidified experience is not building up in there. Are we building up down there though? Because we're, okay, 38, 64, 25. Okay, so it doesn't look like we're getting stacks at a time. And I wish I had a way to remotely turn that off and on from over there, from over here. So I can see if there's like a whole bunch of stuff built up. All right, let's turn this off and let's come back over here. And with everything dead, yeah, I think we're keeping up just fine. So that is like a big thing here. So the other thing is we need to turn this back on and just kind of fly away from the mob farm for a little bit and just see if like with all the hostile mobs spawning in there and all of our <laughs> mobs that we're putting in there together, if that's going to overflow our chest as well. So I just got to hang out here for, I don't know, a minute or two, something like that, and then quickly go in and check. All right, so I was just away for, I don't know, like two minutes or something, editing the last portions of the video here. And yeah, it seems like we are keeping up just fine as long as we got rid of that solidified experience. So that was just the one thing that was holding us back here. Yeah, you can see that we have almost 55,000 of this stuff. That's so crazy. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do with all of that, to be honest. I guess we're just going to collect it. We have so much already stored in the system here. And I don't remember, did we set up a barrel? Yeah, we have a, a barrel full of all of that stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do with all of it. Hmm. Anyway, I guess I guess another thing we could have done, instead of doing this experience solidifier here, we could have just attached it right to this barrel and collected directly that way. That might actually be better. I don't know. I guess we'll, uh, I'll think about it for a little while. I'm not sure why we wouldn't want it this way. But this way, like, you can only take out a stack at a time, I guess, and it's not attached to our plate energistic system, whereas the other way, the barrel over there, is already attached to our applied energistics, so it might be better overall. I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter too much. But yeah, we are collecting all the stuff, so the other thing that we need to worry about, and we'll probably take a look at this next episode, is uh, how we're going to collect more of this essence. Yeah, we might have to uh, make ourselves, like, a new RF Tools Dimension like an ocean dimension full of that. That's a strong possibility. I don't think converting liquid XP into it is going to keep us going for too much longer. 
Uh, we do have a lot of XP though, not gonna lie, but since we can only convert it 100 millibuckets at a time, yeah, it's just, it does, just doesn't make much sense for as much of the stuff that we need. Anyway, uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and call it an episode here, guys. Yep, we got a bunch of stuff done. We are well on our way to getting all of our singularities up and running. So yeah, we need to get more essence coming in. And we also need to start getting the mystical agriculture stuff set up for those blocks. But yeah, once that's all done, we should be able to collect all of our singularities and then be able to get ourselves the ultimate singularity, which is going to be awesome. But anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.